today. Um, it's my one week dread anniversary. Um, I'm not going to celebrate every week, it's just the week. The first week is a bit special, isn't it? So, yeah, they are doing fine. Um, yesterday I took, I think, four out and made them into two, four, six, eight, eight instead of four. I just split them into two um, because my the back of my hair, like, there was gaps and I know it's mainly because my roots are showing, like, I need to colour my hair again. I don't really know what to do about that. Um, and it was just looking a bit weird, that's why I had to have them up every single day because it just looked weird at the back of my head, just like clumps missing from my scalp. Um, I've got them in like a dread thing right now, it's kind of coming apart. And I had to put this in because it was it's really loose, like I only did it for like five minutes. And I just put it up. Um, and things are going great, I will show you, ow, if I can undo it all. I will show you how they're getting on. Um, I think I've got a virus. I stayed around my boyfriend's and he went to the walk-in centre and they said that he's got a virus. I think I'm getting it. Which is brilliant. Um, uh, yeah, so... This is it. It's a lot calmer. Um, in my last video I was like hating my hair and I go through stages like that. I have a good day and then I have a bad day and I have a good day and I have a bad day and whenever I have a bad day um, I just put them up, I just forget about them, get on with my life and then the next day I'm like actually I don't know why I was so annoyed. So that's good if you have hatred towards them just put them up and forget about them and hopefully that hatred will go away. Um, they are doing well, they're still really fluffy at the top. Um, I've washed them how I'd normally wash it every other day, if not every like three days in between, which is what I normally used to do. Um, and it's good. I've been using tea tree shampoo um, and no conditioner, obviously. Um, but I've been concentrating on the roots of my hair, like when I wash it, I go like scrub and then part them, scrub and then part them like that. Um, I just try and leave these to keep the natural oils and stuff. They don't smell, they don't... They smell quite nice actually. <laughs> they smell of my deodorant. <laughs> um, it's weird how they cap, like they just capture smells. Like um, I was walking, where was I walking? I think I was walking to uni and I just like you know how people like smoke outside uni, they were smoking outside and I like walked through their cloud and that was it and then like I was like halfway through my lecture I was like what's that smell and it was my dress, my hair just like engulfed the smoke smell it was ridiculous um, oh yeah on um, Monday or Tuesday the day that I was like hating my dreads I took out four from here so now I've got a lot of loose hair which is good because now when I tie it up really rubbishly like this it's still it's all right it kind of tames my hatred for them because at least I have some natural hair and it kind of looks if I put it up you'd have to kind of look twice if you're walking past me on the street to realize that I have dreads which is good um I don't have any itchiness um the rubber bands are like splitting and falling out from, I don't know, from, I don't wear anything, apparently you're supposed to wear like a cap in bed or something, nah I'm not doing that, I just, I just put them loose and if they get annoying because I've got some beads as well, I put them like that and then lay so that they're all out of my face, um, yeah I'll show you the back, you can see where I partitioned them, I split, these used to be two, and I think these used to be two. I don't know. I don't know. But the smaller ones that you could you could see there, that I split them from being one into two, um, and it's worked well. It's just because I wanted my hair to be fuller at the back. I wanted bigger dreads, but I wanted it to still have that kind of like bigness. And I didn't have hardly. I had hardly any hair at the end of it. I dreaded all of them up. I only had like seven or eight at the back 
so it looks pretty weird. Um, a lot more hatred. Um, a lot of people have suddenly thought that because I've got dreads, even though I've known them for like three years at university, they've suddenly thought that I've completely changed as a person, which I haven't. Um, and a lot of people are like, I don't know, they're just hating on them and it's not really getting to me. It just, it's a bit frustrating how ignorant they are, especially with the whole, um, you know, thinking that my hair smells and that I'm not going to wash and it's just ignorance. <laughs> I wash my hair exactly the same amount of times that I do when I used to with my natural hair. It's a life, it's, you can either have them as a hairstyle or a lifestyle. And I don't have the lifestyle of a hippie, 60s, you know, earth loving hippie. <laughs> I just have dreads and I feel they're so much easier to get on with. Oh my gosh, they are so easy. Like literally, you can just put them up. With, I remember having my natural hair and my natural hair was so like frizzy, like it was so unmanageable at times. <laughs> And I never used to straighten or curl it because I didn't want it to get damaged because my mum's hair is quite um, brittle and so is mine. So I used to put it up and it always used to look really rubbish like in a ponytail stuff. But I put it up like this and I'm betting that it looks alright. Okay, maybe that dread there. <laughs> but you know what I mean, I just, I put it up and it looks fine. And I can walk out the door like it and I don't have to worry about anything really it's just a lot easier a lot lot easier um i got some tea tree oil um for the itchiness um i haven't got it yet but people say that um once your once your hair starts getting used to being in dreads it will start to oil up more easily if you wash it the same as you did before and so i need to find a little spray bottle thing i've got like some tea tree oil i'm gonna dilute it in some water and after um, washing my hair, spray it, I need to sneeze. <coughs> oh, bless me. Oh, that's it, I'm ill. Brilliant. Oh. Um, do you always get that? You sneeze, and there's always that sneeze that you realise, okay, that's it, I'm ill. I'm finally given. <sighs> anyway. Fucking, fucking viruses. Get a spray bottle and spray it when your hair's wet slash damp and it puts in the oil that you lose and um, it stops the itchiness. This is my hair. The roots, um, the tips, sorry, are still like loose and stuff but I'm not bothering to keep maintaining them. I'm just going to let them do whatever they want because these ones that I've had for four months I didn't do anything to the roots and they seem to be locking up a little bit better. Just leave it alone. Um, I dreaded my boyfriend's hair the day after that I dreaded mine because he wanted them and he sectioned, I sectioned them perfectly. Oh my gosh, it's like squares, like equal all the way through his head and when he did mine the day before, I know it's so frustrating when like you want it to be perfect and if you could do it yourself you would. You have to trust someone who doesn't really care at the time and my grid on my hair on my head isn't that great but I can't be bothered to take them out now and start them again so I'm left with it but he didn't understand at the time he didn't really understand the consequences of not just you know doing it half heart half heartedly he didn't really understand that I well he didn't really think that I would be stuck with them <laughs> oh well um so if I see him soon I will show you his hair Probably not because I'm now ill. Fucking boyfriends. I've been noticing a lot more people with dreads since I've got dreads. Like the day after I got dreads, I walked back to mine. I saw three people in town with dreadlocks. And I swear that I never see... I didn't see one person before when I didn't have dreads with dreadlocks, if you know what I mean. I was just... And since I've had them, literally every single time that I'm in town, I see at least one or two people with dreads. Like, different people, not the same people either. It's really weird how your mind... You see people with dreads when you have dreads. It's weird. 
this was the cutest guy in town today with like blonde dreadlocks he was so cute he was like looking at me and I was looking at him and I was like you know got dreads and he was like it's weird <laughs> but he was so cute and I wish that I talked to him but I was so nervous because what do you say I've never been in that position where someone's come up to me and be like yeah you got dreadlocks how old are they like I'm so used to people going so you don't wash oh it's gonna be really fun when you have a shaved head and we'll get to laugh at you or you won't get a job now because of your dreads you do realize that like no one's gonna no one's even gonna like want to give you an interview all this stuff to you know yay dreads <laughs> um so this is my video not much has happened i've now got a cold which is brilliant um next week i've got a few days off from uni so hopefully i'll take my camera out and about it's not snowing anymore it's like really windy and rainy so I will I'll take you out on my adventures hopefully um, I'm a bit shy still with the whole walking around in public with a camera but I'll I'll have to get used to it um, and yeah so I'll speak to you in a couple of days um, <clears throat> also oh, I, my favorite film is in Bruges right um, and my favourite film, literally my favourite ever film is in Bruges and I haven't seen it in ages and I watched it for the first time a couple of days ago <sighs> don't you love that when you you forget how much you love a movie or a song or a friend and you see them and you watch it or you listen to it and you just you just take a step back and you're like this is why I love it so much <laughs> It just brought me to tears, it just brings me to tears every single time with the Raglan Road song, you know, the bit, I'm not going to spoil it, but nearish the end, you know what I mean, if you've seen it. Just, it's, it's such a beautiful movie, it's such a beautiful movie. I also like Seven Psychopaths, which is by the same guy, and it's got Colin Farrell in it, which is always a bonus. Um, doesn't have Ray Fiennes in, though, I love Ray Fiennes. Fucking cunt kids, and all that stuff. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm going to go because I'm rambling now, so I'll speak to you um, when I next have something interesting to say, um, and yeah, have a good day, have a good dread journey if you're following me because of my dreads, um, and okay, yeah, alright, bye.